Hey, good morning, guys. This is your boy, Avong Eka. I am a CPA, best-selling author of Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan. And I'm also the founder of Economics. We focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. Now, today, I want to share with you a quick video. You're probably watching, if you're watching this, this is the day after Cleveland and LeBron James and his team just won the NBA championship for the first time that, that city's had a championship in the last 50-odd years. And that's a hell of a drought. And now I'm not going to go on here and talk about how awesome he is or any of this other stuff. I'm not going to go into sports. But one thing I want to make I want to, to make clear and make note of and what's important for people to realize is that there's, there's a lot of analogies in life that you can apply what you saw last night to parts of your life. Because everybody has a different journey, but yet it's still a journey. So in this particular video, what I want to share with you today is reminder of the importance of, of having a proper mindset and a proper vision. So what I do with companies is I go and talk to different companies about leadership uh, development for their employees and internal leadership and per personal leadership. And, and I give speeches on that as well. And this kind of falls into the, the idea of motivation. But it's not enough just to go out and do rah-rah speeches because everybody does that. Everybody has a sports analogy where they go and they speak rah-rah and do all that stuff. And the thing that I want to remind you of, and I want to give, share with you a few points. The first point is the importance of having a vision. Now, I talk about vision ad nauseum, whether it's in my first book or it's going to be in my second book. The idea that without dreams and visions, people perish, that is a biblical principle. But it, it, it rings true. And you, if you ask people in general what they don't understand and what they, what they fail to understand a lot of times is... If you don't see where your results are going to be, if you don't see where the end is supposed to be, you almost will never get there. And so a lot of people, a lot of great business minds will say that if your goals aren't measurable, you'll never attain them. It's very similar when it comes to your journey and to your dreams. And I'll give you a quick analogy, a quick story I always share. It's called my Baltimore story. I live in the Washington, D.C. area. And what's really important about Baltimore, interesting about Baltimore, is about 30, 40 minutes away. And most people who live in this area know how to get to Baltimore. You get on 495 and you get either on 295 or 95. What ends up happening a lot of times is there's always traffic and traffic accidents and, and, and stuff going on and detours. But what happens if you're driving up, you get out, you choose to go on 295, you're driving up 295 and there's an accident that blocks both, both lanes. What do you do? Well, if you're using Waze, if you're using your internal compass, if you're using Google Maps, you'll put in the, new, the, the same address and it'll give you a detour. You'll get off one of the exits and you go around in a circle and go somewhere else and turn left, turn right, and eventually you go to Baltimore, even though it took a little bit longer. But in life, most of you who are stuck in a journey that you think, that you believe is for you, you're on your way to Baltimore. And what you do is you pull off to the side of the road, get out of your car because there's traffic, and you start to walk back home. Now, if I told you to do that when it came, when it came to driving to Baltimore, how ridiculous would that sound? But yet, in your particular journey, in your life, you're doing the exact same thing. You start telling yourself a story how it's not going to work. That's you walking backwards. You tell yourself that it's not, you have other people telling you it's not going to work. People giving you ridiculous, dumb advice. And you start walking backwards. You quit before you get to Baltimore. You start walking backwards. But the people who excel and go over to a level of greatness, they find a way to get there. Whatever detour they need to take, they find a way to get there. Now ask yourself, if your goal is Baltimore, why would you park your car on the side of the road, get out, turn around and walk home? And so when it comes to being relentless and understanding what the vision is, it's a lot easier to be relentless if you know what the end is supposed to look like to you. When I got my best-selling book, I, it took me two and a half years to get a book deal. When I played professional basketball in Europe, it took me months of hard dedication while all my peers were getting jobs. I, I put that off, worked as a janitor, saved my money, made phone calls every single day. Now, how does that apply to you and what does last night have to do with this? It's very simple. You're down 3-1 in a deficit. No team has ever come back to win the NBA championship from being down 3-1. Well, we've seen as possible in the Western Conference Series, OKC, Oklahoma City was up 3-1 and couldn't close it out. And Golden State came back and won to go to the NBA Finals. But you got to understand, when your back is against the wall is when you elevate your level of play. 
So the first is you have the vision. You, you see yourself celebrating in the locker room. You see yourself having the championship, holding the trophies, enjoying your life, pointing to the sky, praying to whatever, whatever deity you believe in. And the second thing is you raise your level of play. You raise your level of activity. You raise your level of, 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 of interest in everything you're doing and desire, dedication. And then the third piece, which is really important, is that you communicate that effectively with everybody else on your team. As much as we, we believe in LeBron, LeBron's amazing, he, he could have done this alone. Kyrie had to hit a big th three-point shot with 50 seconds, 20 seconds winding down. Other players had to play good D. T Tristan Thompson had to, had to be able to guard Curry on switches. you got to understand this is a little bit more than that. The average person will waste their time looking at nickel and dime plays. You have to look at the overall, the overall picture of what you saw and what you witnessed. What you saw and what you witnessed was nothing short of greatness. To a level where your great, 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 great grandchildren will be talking about this moment, watching highlights on, on YouTube and recounting this. People who will become, who haven't been born yet, who will be playing in the NBA, who will be all-stars, will reference this moment. So those who are alive, who are able to watch and witness something of greatness, can apply the exact same thing to their lives. But the mistake that you make is that you park your car on the side of the road, get out, and turn around when you're in a 3-1 deficit. And then you wonder why you never get to your mountaintop, you wonder why you never get your championship, and you wonder why you never get the journey, the end of the journey that you wanted for so long. So if you're in a situation where you're doubting and fear, you're insecure about what you're doing, remind, remind yourself the vision has to be clear. You have to raise your level of play, raise your level of activity. And then third, you got to communicate that with everybody on your team. They don't get it, they're out. Plain and simple. They don't get it, they're out. You don't have time to coddle people. It's not about families, not about friends you've known for decades, none of that crap. They don't get it. They're out. Because at this point in time, your journey has become you. It's more than who you are right now. It's more than a relationship you've had. So I want that for you, and I wish you the best as you keep moving forward. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your week. And I hope you dominate like the champion that you are.